<sighs> What's up, guys? <sighs> Get my six. Oh. Oh. I'm exhausted right now. And if you think it's because I've been out here this morning running, training as I am to win the 1500 meter 2020 Summer Olympic gold medal this fall. You know, they had the 2020 Olympics, Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. I'm going to win the 2020 Summer Olympics in Japan, gold medal in the 1500 meter. 1500 meter race this fall on my property in Virginia. It's gonna happen. Let me catch my breath and I've not been training. I gotta tell you what's going on. Oh. oh. So yeah, you heard me, you heard me. You know, I pulled a big George Foreman last weekend and at 46 years old, you know, despite being labeled a disabled combat veteran, at 46 years old, I won my first 5K foot race in almost 20 years. No one beat me that day. And that race was on film. You probably saw it if you watch the channel, okay? I pulled my big George Foreman there. I'm gonna pull a big Muhammad Ali here. Well, soon, it's coming up. But see, Muhammad Ali liked to, well, he liked to spit a lot of game. So I'm gonna spit some game, okay? The 2020, Summer Olympics in Tokyo, 1500 meters. That race, I'm gonna win that race this fall in Virginia on my property, which is potentially, maybe, maybe not, haunted and potentially home to Bigfoot Sasquatch. Now, with that said, you're saying, oh, okay, Crazy Lake, we can see why you're out of breath. You've been out there training to win that 1500 meter Olympic gold medal. Cause that was my goal as a kid. I never quite achieved it. Well, never came close, but I'm gonna win it this fall at 46, 30 years after the formation of the dream. I'm gonna prove never stop dreaming, never stop achieving. We can do anything, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't. Either way, you're right, okay? So you can be a, I'm not gonna say loser cause that's mean to call people that. You can be someone who doesn't win and spend your time coming up with excuses as to why you're not successful or you can go out there, you can get up, and you can go out there and you can make it happen, okay? And even if you don't achieve the ultimate goal, knowing you gave it everything you had will give you a sense of accomplishment despite that, rather than sitting on your bum saying, well, I didn't do it because of him, or, you know, she left me and took everything. Yeah, how long ago was that? You've had time to make it back, brah. Get up and get active. Now, this isn't supposed to be a motivational speech. And it's not supposed to be about making people who don't know how to win feel like the L words they are. Because listen, you're telling everybody your excuses. They might go, uh-huh. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess what? They're telling you what you, they know you want to hear. They know you're just someone who doesn't know how to win. So just stop. Just stop. Now, <clears throat> here's why I'm worn out. This is why I'm exhausted. <sighs> It was my intentions to come, well, look at me, I'm gonna sound like I'm giving you a reason as to why I haven't achieved my goal this morning. I came out this morning to train for this 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo 1500 meter finals, which is gonna be held this fall on my property and I'm gonna win gold. But first I was gonna go up to the family campground here and get our four wheeler because last night my beautiful bride dearly, AKA Giggly Girl and myself were up here sitting around a campfire, roasting some beef franks, which she calls hot dogs. I can't eat hot dogs, guys. I'm training to win an Olympic gold medal. I'm going to win the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympic 1500 meter final this fall in Virginia. Just like, hey, I'm, I'm just pulling my Muhammad Ali. He always picked it. He picked he's going to beat George Foreman in the eighth round, and that's when he did it, you know. He told him, you know, I know you got him. I know you got, got him picked, but I'm going to show you how great I am. And he did that. I'm going to show you how great I am when I win the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympic 1500 meter gold medal this fall in Virginia. At 46, someone who's been labeled a disabled veteran, okay? I'm going to show you how disabled I'm not. But first, 
I've been trying to get this four wheeler, but these entities, these entities that may or may not be real, which may or may not live on my property and which may or may not just be interdimensional and go through portals, but which may or may not also now be telekinetic have been interfering with my ability to go up here and retrieve my four-wheeler. They are exhibiting what appears to be these strange new uh, behaviors, uh, uh, these strange new powers of not restraint, but constraint. It's taken me an hour. I haven't been able to get the four-wheeler and then train to win the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympic 1500 meter final here in my backyard in Virginia. You're like, okay, Crazy Lake, what are these strange new powers of constraint that they appear to be exhibiting? Watch. Uh, I'm okay down here. Had to come get water. Watch. I'm gonna be walking at this pace. Okay? I'm gonna be walking at that pace from here to that four-wheeler. Watch what happens. See, I cannot advance past this point for now. Just keep watching. Oh, there we go. There we go. Then let me go. Guys, this is them, not me. I'm not strong enough to do this. You see, you see what I'm talking about? It's like they see me coming up here to what potentially their territory and they constrain me with either forcing me to walk in place or plank, do some ab work, hold myself in the push up position. Now, I spent a lot of time doing that in the army because, well, I just kind of, I had issues with authority, so you know, and I'm not stupid. You know, they tell you, I was in the infantry. They say, you know what? First get there, they say, you can be smart or you can be strong. You know, because if you're not smart and you have problems with authority, you're going to do a lot of push-ups. Well, I'm kind of smart and strong because whatever. But not anymore. Look, I have what's called a Twinkie tummy. See, some people got beer guts. Some people got uh, middle-aged spreads. This is a bonafide Twinkie tummy because I love to eat Twinkies. 
It's carbo loading, man. Carbo loading. There's a lot of carbs in Twinkies. And I'm training to win the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo Olympic gold uh, medal in the 1500 meters final, which I'm going to win out here in Virginia this fall on my property. But see, I'm not strong enough. My point is, I'm not fit enough to just hover like that. I Abs, I don't got them. I got a, a Twinkie tummy. So there's potentially some sort of mysterious force. They are exhibiting strange new powers of constraint. For some reason, they don't want me going up there getting that four-wheeler. But we're going to get them. We're going to get that four-wheeler. Uh, I'm a runner, right? Okay, I used to be a runner, but I'm someone who runs, okay? I'm going to run as fast as I can, which I believe is fast enough to win the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympic 1500 meter, meter finals this fall on my property in Virginia. You hear that? That four-wheeler's engine just started and revved. Wow. We got this on camera. Not only are they exhibiting these strange new powers of constraint, they are starting the engine of that four-wheeler and revving it. You guys are seeing this. You're hearing it. I'm gonna run up there and jump on it and ride it because they already started it for me. They just turned it off. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Who's joking now? Everybody's like, these videos are so fake, it's not real. You just saw and heard that, brah. Now go do something. I'm gonna run and I'm gonna get that four-wheeler. Runner set, bang. Okay, you can have it. It's your four-wheeler. <sighs> wow. This is beyond creepy. You saw that. I just told them they can have it. It's their four-wheeler and they let me up. <sighs> Guys, it's the kind of stuff you can't make up. You saw it. You saw me held. You saw me constrained by mysterious forces beyond our understanding. You heard them start the four-wheeler and rev the engine and then turn it right back off. They want it, they can have it. They can play with it for a while. I'll go get it later. But for now, we down, go down here to the big field in front of my house, and I'm going to train to win the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan, this fall in my yard in Virginia, because it's never too late to achieve your dreams. See you next time on the PBS S, the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch and potentially haunted homestead where the ghosts start the four-wheelers show.